Newcastle aren't back in action for a while due to the international break, but that doesn't stop the news from around the club. In today's video, we're going to go over all the latest news from the last 24 hours. That includes the new deal the club have confirmed, and £65 million in agreements. There's so much to cover in today's video. And hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Former Newcastle United manager Steve Bruce admitted he couldn't have foreseen Joe Linton's impressive midfield transformation. Joe Linton arrived at Newcastle as a club's record signing from Hoffenheim in 2019 for £40 million. The Brazilian was given the iconic number 9 shirt but failed to live up to expectations with just two goals in his first Premier League season. Joe Linton largely struggled at Newcastle during Bruce's time as manager. It wasn't until Eddie Howe's arrival and a Kieran Clark sending off that Joe Linton finally started to live up to his significant price tag. Since shifting into midfield following Clark's red card against Norwich City in November 2021, Joe Linton has rarely looked back. The 27-year-old is now a Brazil international and one of Newcastle's key players, after helping the club survive relegation and finish fourth in the Premier League. Joe Linton is currently out injured until May, with his physical presence sorely missed in United's midfield. And when asked about the sign on Joe Linton on TalkSport, former Magpies boss Bruce said, I have to be brutally honest about Joe Linton. Before I'd signed for Newcastle, Joe Linton was already done. Steve Nixon and Lee Charnley had already done the deal, I'd love to put my name to Joe. The only thing I would say is, he was coming in as Newcastle's number 9, I'm going to be brutally honest, I never saw him as a central midfielder, but for Hoffenheim he had always played on the left, he was never really an iconic centre forward. Consequently, a move of his position and he's done really really well. Joe Linton is facing an uncertain future at Newcastle as things stand with his current contract signed when he first joined the club, set to expire next summer. United are in talks to extend the Brazilian's deal at St James's Park, with hope a deal can be reached. But, if Joe Linton hasn't committed his future to Newcastle by the time the summer transfer window opens on June the 14th, the club may look to sell him in order to avoid losing out on a free transfer in 2025. Newcastle United have announced their club's first multi-year commercial partnership deal with Quid. Quid is a digital, collectible and NFT marketplace subsidiary of Anamica Brands. A club statement read, The partnership will provide Newcastle United supporters around the world with the opportunity to build and trade collections of officially licensed digital trading cards, digital video moments and digital memorabilia on Quid while unlocking a number of exclusive experiences. As part of the partnership, limited edition Newcastle United digital trading cards will be released on March 28th at 2pm on the Quid Marketplace. It is the latest commercial partnership announced by the club as it looks to increase its commercial revenue and help combat the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules. Newcastle's Chief Commercial Officer Peter Silverstone commented on the partnership, Quid is the ideal partner for our first ever officially licensed digital collection. As Newcastle United's fan base expands globally, it is important we find new and innovative ways to build strong connections with the club supporters wherever they are and across a variety of different platforms. This initiative of partnership with Quid will allow us to reach and engage club supporters through an exciting digital collection which will augment our much anticipated future retail offering. Quid Chief Executive Michael Bramlage added, We're thrilled to partner with Newcastle United as we venture further into the world of sports collectibles. The collection of football stickers and cards is deeply embedded in football culture. In the same way that the internet, mobile devices and streaming services have profoundly changed the football viewing experience, we are using technology to help transform the football collecting experience. Our partnership with Newcastle United will showcase the unique capabilities of digital collectibles as an easy, fast and fun way to collect, updating a long cherished hobby for the modern age. Newcastle have already agreed over £65 million worth of commercial deals over the past 12 months. A £25 million per season sponsorship deal with Seller was agreed last summer and the club also have an income and five year kit manufacturing deal with Adidas set to start this summer which is understood to be worth around £40 million per season. It will see Adidas return as Newcastle's kit manufacturer for the first time since the 2009-2010 season. Jeff Stelling believes two Newcastle United players will not take part in the club's pre-season games in Australia. It has been announced that Newcastle will face Tottenham Hotspur in Melbourne just three days after the end of the Premier League season. 
This will be followed by a match against an A-League All-Star side on Friday, May 24th. Both Kieran Trippier and Anthony Gordon will hope to be part of the summer's England squad, while the likes of Bruno Guimaraes, Miguel Almiron, Martin Dubravka and Fabian Schaar will also be aiming to represent their countries. TalkSport presenter Jeff Stellan thinks that at least two of Newcastle's squad will not be involved in the friendlies, amid fears of picking up an untimely injury. I guarantee you Kieran Trippier and Anthony Gordon will not go, the broadcaster said. I guarantee you, they can't. Newcastle will fly out to Australia almost immediately after their final league game against Brentford on May 19th. The first of the two game series will see the Magpies take on Spurs in Tottenham manager Ange Postecoglou's hometown of Melbourne on May 22nd, before facing off against the A-League star names two days later. Newcastle boss Eddie Howe has spoken positively about the games in Australia as the club looked to connect with their fans across the globe. Newcastle will play their two games in Melbourne at the Melbourne Cricket Ground and Marvel Stadium respectively. This is a great opportunity to showcase Newcastle United at two iconic venues in an iconic city as a club continues to grow globally, Howe said. We are privileged to have so many incredible supporters around the world and it's a chance to be able to play in front of many in Australia who wouldn't ordinarily get the chance to see the team. We look forward to engaging with our supporters in Melbourne and giving them the opportunity to feel closer to the club. Newcastle are considering a rare move to ban a Premier League rival from signing any of their players this summer, according to reports. The Magpies have had a tough campaign and are languishing in mid-table after failing to reproduce the excellent last season under Eddie Howe that saw them clinch a place in the Champions League by finishing fourth. Newcastle have also been hit by a spate of injuries to stifle their progress, as well as losing new sign and Sandro Tonali to a 10-month ban. At the start of this year, the Magpies were then dealt another setback, after news that Manchester United were pursuing their sporting director Dan Ashworth, with the former West Brom and England chief placed on garden and leave. Now the club are milling over making an unusual move, amid fears they could lose some big names in the summer to further derail their development. According to Iron News, Newcastle want to insert a transfer ban clause in Ashworth's contract at Old Trafford to prevent him bringing any of the club's players with him. Ashworth's move to United is still yet to be confirmed, with the discussion still ongoing as new chief Sir Jim Ratcliffe continues to stamp his mark on the club following his 27.7% investment. Mail Sport confirmed that Ashworth had informed Newcastle of his wish to join United last month, with Magpies placing him on temporary leave while agreeing a compensation figure. That period of Garland leave would take him towards the January transfer window of 2026, meaning that United will have to negotiate an enhanced compensation fee to release him early or wait for his leave to expire. Newcastle fans, what do you make of Newcastle's new multi-year deal with Quid? Let us know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.